Listen up, all you car lovers out there, it's time to get pumped for an exciting exploration of legendary muscle cars. We'll showcase the top 10 most impressive and unforgettable muscle cars from the 1960s, which have made history in the automotive industry, from well-known classics to awe-inspiring beasts. So don't wait any longer, become part of our enthusiastic YouTube community by subscribing today. Number 10. The 1962 Pontiac Catalina Super Duty Get ready to rev your engine and take a trip down memory lane with the 1962 Pontiac Catalina Super Duty, a true powerhouse that paved the way for muscle cars of its time. While there may not have been an official term for these speed demons, it was clear that full-size cars like this one were no joke when racing against competitors such as Ford Galaxies, Chevy Impalas, and Chrysler 300s on speedways everywhere. But don't be fooled into thinking Pontiac wasn't in the fray. They dominated motorsports before AMA's ban put a pause on all race-related activities in 63. That didn't stop them from making history, though. Unleashing their spectacular series of Super Duty engines, which boasted an impressive rating of up to 405 horsepower. To make things even more exciting, some Pontiac models got picked for special weight loss programs via aluminum body panels and hood upgrades. This combo made lighter vehicles coupled with powerful engines so much fun. Only around 200 automobiles would end up making it out alive, but those lucky enough to endure carried prestige akin to royalty within muscle car enthusiast societies worldwide. Number 9. 1963 Plymouth Savoy Max Wedge The year was 1963, and while General Motors plotted along building full-size cars, Chrysler dared to be different. They had already moved on to an intermediate body the previous year, a bold move that paid off big time. But suddenly, they were faced with last-minute production changes that left them scrambling for solutions. The engineers at Auburn Hills worked night and day, fueled by their passion, over this remarkable feat of engineering genius led by none other than Tom Hoover himself. And what did these brilliant minds create? A supercharged beast sporting a whopping 426 cubic inches under its hood, putting out an earth-shattering 425 horsepower, complemented perfectly by industry-first three-speed automatic transmission technology, making it virtually unbeatable in every race, both on track and off-road. Ah yes, those glorious days when muscle machines roared like thunder on America's highways, causing stampedes among adoring car enthusiasts from coast to coast. With only around 250 ever produced during 1963, those who managed to get their hands on a Max Wedge truly owned automotive history itself. Number 8. 1964 Ford Fairlane Thunderbolt In 1963, the racing scene was dominated by massive muscle cars thundering around tracks and drag strips. But for Ford, it wasn't enough. They wanted to take things up a notch with something smaller, lighter, and downright ferocious. Enter the game-changing 1964 Ford Fairlane Thunderbolt. With its high-output 427 CIF big-block engine cranking out an insane 425 horsepower at a mind-boggling 6,000 RPM, this limited-edition beast meant business. And even though it was deemed illegal for NASCAR races due to its sheer power and awesomeness, these legendary machines still managed to reign supreme in the NH Superstock Championship that same year. But then came NASCAR's new regulations banning Chrysler Hemi engines from competing, leaving room for Ford's nimble yet mighty mid-size package of raw power. Complete with fiberglass units and plexiglass windows reducing weight plus incredible aerodynamics, it marked an all-new era of dominating performance on racetracks everywhere, solidifying their legacy as one of street racing's most fearsome opponents forevermore. Number 7. 1965 Pontiac GTO Tri-Power in 1964, the world of 60s muscle cars experienced a significant turning point when Pontiac introduced their daring GTO trim level on the Le Mans model. This move was seen as a direct challenge to GM's official stance on racing and performance. By exceeding the corporate engine displacement limit for mid-size models with an impressive feat, Pontiac proved that its success was vital and fortified by an internal GM ruling in favor of its decision. Motor Trend bestowed accolades upon the 1968 Pontiac GDO, praising its Endura bumper and honoring it with the magazine's Car of the Year title. However, more hot rodders were inclined towards Pontiac's legendary tri-power carburetor design, which reached unprecedented heights during the year-long production period between 1965 and 1967 before being eventually discontinued. In 1965, the Pontiac GDO underwent significant improvements, including upgraded brakes, sturdy shocks, and a fortified anti-sway bar. Additionally, its base engine was outfitted with additional power, resulting in an impressive output of 335 horsepower. 
While the horsepower for the renowned Tri-Powers 389CI was increased to reach up to 360 horsepower, the redesigned version witnessed sales skyrocketing by over twofold, reaching up to 75,400 units, eventually securing itself as one of the most celebrated muscle cars ever produced. Number 6. 1996 Dodge Coronet Street Hemi With great excitement in 1966, Chrysler made a bold entrance into the realm of street performance by offering the race-exclusive 426 CI Hemi engine to any courageous individual who could handle its power. This daring move was inspired by NASCAR's decision to ban the Hemi from competition after Richard Petty famously triumphed with it in his Plymouth vehicle back in 64. The sanctioning body demanded that if an engine wasn't available for mass consumption, it couldn't be used on track, prompting Dodge and Plymouth Intermediates to receive this mighty motor, which boasted up to 425 horsepower for the thrilling year ahead. To accomplish this impressive achievement, the Hemi, previously only used for racing, underwent significant development efforts to ensure its reliability on regular streets and its ability to perform well in various weather conditions and altitudes. Despite the considerable advancements made throughout the 1960s in engine technology, it is quite remarkable that there were relatively few changes made to Chrysler Street Hemi formula during a decade characterized by high-performance muscle cars. Number 5. 1968 AMC AMX Back in 1968, American Motors dared to take on larger rivals and spark the muscle car trend of the 60s when it ventured into this hotly contested arena. Faced with a challenging mission of keeping up, American Motors introduced a revolutionary solution through Dick Teague's Javelin and AMX designs. These stylish vehicles targeted Ford's Mustang and Chevy's Corvette by presenting a compact yet bold two-seater sports car that bravely rivaled its established peers. The 1968 models boasted an unparalleled price-to-power ratio by coupling the top-tier engine, the 390C, producing an impressive 315 horsepower with a light curb weight of 3,000 pounds, resulting in pulse-pounding acceleration like no other vehicle before it. However, the importance of the MX surpasses its pure strength and impressive appearance. It permitted American Motors to remain committed to their successful high-quality approach that had led to Rambler Americans' triumph five years prior now with an added flair that attracted trendy baby boomers. American Motors didn't simply enter into the competition. They redefined how things were done by forging a unique route into the cutthroat realm of 1960s muscle cars. Number 4. 1969 Chevy Copo Camaro Engineered through a clandestine central office production order or Copo, these cars allowed Chevrolet to install their top engine into their lightest model, resulting in a factory-built supercar with unparalleled performance capabilities. Picture harnessing the power of this formidable vehicle with its 427 cubic inch big block Chevy V8, defying all internal restrictions, propelling your Camaro to unprecedented levels of speed and potency on any road or track you take it on. Within this domain, two Copo 427 Camaros emerged. First, the Copo 9561 equipped with a solid lifter L72 iron block. Next, and most extraordinarily scarce of all, its counterpart the ultra-rare Copo 9560, which boasts an aluminum ZL1 big block at a whopping capacity of up to 427 CL, coveted jewels only attainable by a select few admirers. These incredible displays of superlative automotive muscle enchanted aficionados worldwide and were retailed via esteemed dealerships like Yenko, Fred Gibb, and Berger themselves. Number 3. 1969 Ford Boss 429 Mustang Setting aside the argument over whether pony cars like the Ford Mustang belong to 60s muscle cars or not, we have to acknowledge that the most powerful of these cars is undoubtedly the 1969 Boss 429 Mustang. Created as a low-profile race car for NASCAR, this impressive vehicle was homologated with other Mustang racers and competed against mid-sized Torinos powered by Ford Hemis. Despite usually being outpaced by Cobra Jet 428 models on public roads due to its specs optimized for racing and tuned specifically for street use, Thanks to proper gears, exhaust systems, and tuning, any car trying to compete with it could vanish in seconds when raced properly. When production approval came through in March of 69, only around just fewer than 900 units were produced during transit days, making them quite rare vehicles indeed. The engine had initially been rated at a modest level, producing an output power of only roughly measured up from slow. However, efforts made soon revealed greater potential beyond what anyone imagined possible even causing us to challenge default settings, claiming extraordinary changes, despite sheer horsepower reviews pointing towards nothing else but triumphantly unfolding confidence paving way ahead. 
Changes included replacing hydraulic cam followers used earlier with mechanical tappet-based components, introduced gradually throughout the year, transitioning post-fittingly into more popularized versions, continuing until almost end-of-year build cycle, so stamping their claim plate well after they've gained momentum along tracks, literally speaking. Number 2. 1969 Dodge Hemi Daytona During the late 1960s, the stage was set for a significant power struggle in Detroit. The post-World War II generation was coming of age, space exploration had reached its peak, and fuel was abundant, all contributing to the popularity of racing. It was at this pivotal moment that Dodge devised an audacious plan to dominate NASCAR by producing 5,003 custom-designed Dodge Chargers for public purchase. This bold move elevated the iconic muscle car known as the Dodge Daytona to legendary status during this historic period. The Dodge Daytona made a stunning debut, captivating the public with its aerodynamically designed nose cone and rear wing resembling those of supersonic jet fighters rather than typical automobiles. Additionally, the potent 426 CL Hemi engine from Chrysler could be installed in this revolutionary car, making it a formidable contender in NASCAR races. Through this bold pursuit of success within NASCAR's fiercely competitive environment, Dodge cemented its place as one of America's most significant automotive brands for years to come. Forever etched alongside other legends through its game-changing innovations that helped shape America's automotive history into what we recognize today. Number 1. 1970 Chevelle SS454 The Chevy Malibu, a part of General Motors' mid-size A-body platform, and the 1970 Chevelle SS454 played influential roles in the advancement of muscle cars during the 1960s. The Chevelle SS stood out as a top contender among its peers and solidified its position as a dominant force for years to come. The introduction of the RPO Z15 in 1970 marked a significant milestone for this classic vehicle, offering two big block options, the LS5 at 360 horsepower and the impressive solid lifter cowl induction producing the LS6, boasting peak power levels and elevated compression ratios, setting new standards for production line vehicles. However, a twist in the story unfolded in 1968, when the Chevelle Supersport was no longer a distinct vehicle, but was instead designated as an add-on trim for the Malibu. Before this change, confirming the authenticity of a Super Sports model only required using a specific VN identifier. However, after 1968, verification became more challenging, relying on dealership documentation such as broadcast sheets or other indirect methods. As a result, determining the true legitimacy of a 1969 or later Chevelle SS has become quite difficult, driving up the rarity and value beyond what production numbers would suggest. We appreciate you coming along with us on this amazing adventure as we explore the top 10 legendary muscle cars of the 60s. If you enjoyed the video, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more captivating automobile content.